similarly we can uh, do the same way to uh, write down the vector equation of motion for the displacement or oh, sorry for the position vector we can start by uh, write the position vector as the x time unit vector i plus y time unit vector j but we know from the previous slide that x is equal to the xi plus vxi times t plus half of the ax times t and y is equal to the yi plus vyi times t plus half of ay times t square. So we can combine the quantity here. We can combine xi and yi to get ri, the initial position. We can combine vxi and vyi to get vi, the initial velocity. And we can combine ax and ay to get a, the acceleration. So, we can write down the vector equation like this. R is equal to the Ri plus Vit plus half of the At square. We can see that the mathematical form is very similar to this equation and this equation. But the difference, the main difference is that the quantity here are all vectors. Okay. So we call this the vector equation of motion. We can graphically see this relation and this relation like this. If you look at it figure, the first one is the represent the graphical representation of the, the equation V is equal to the V I T I'm sorry V is equal to the V I plus A T if you look at this figure we can see that if the initial velocity is Vi, let me send by this arrow. And uh, after the initial position at time t, we have the, the, ve the vector at like this. So the final velocity will be the summation of the initial velocity and the term at. So we have this as a final velocity. It is interesting to look at the x and y component of this vector. You can see that this is the x component of vi, right? And this is the x component of axt. And you can see that we xi plus axt is equal to the vxf which is the x component of the final result right it is the x component of the final result so it means that when we write down as a vector the vector equation of motion the relation is also the same for the x uh, the x the, the component in the x-axis and you can see also this is the same for the component on the y-axis too okay so it means that we can separately discuss the motion in two dimensions separately in the x-direction and the y-direction similarly we can write down the vector equation for the position we have that R is equal to the Ri plus 
v i t plus half of the a t square. Okay, and when we look at the figure, we have that if this is the initial position of the object, and after the time t, we have this term v i t. v i is the initial velocity. So v i t is the direction in the direction of the velocity, the initial velocity, and we also add half of a t square, and this is the final position of uh, the object. Again, if you look at the x, the x, the x component, we can see that we have that this is the x component of the initial position. This is the x component of the v i t, and this is the x component of the term half of the a t, and when we combine the x component, this t a component, we have the final position in the x component in the x on the x axis. So it means that once we have the equation vector equation of motion like this, we can we will have the same form, mathematical form for the component on the x axis, and also I leave this as the uh, as the exercise that we can show that the component on the y axis also have the same mathematical form as this equation. Okay.